Hi, welcome to another lecture on software quality assurance. In this lecture, we will discuss about what is bug and categories of bug and uh, how they are introduced in the system and how we can detect, prevent and all these things will be discussed in this lecture. So welcome you again and now let's get started. Uh, first of all, you, you may heard many times software is buggy and there is a bug so what is the bug bug is a software condition if software has that condition then we can say that software is buggy this means that software is not fulfilling its intended behavior bug is a flaw mistake or error within the software so when our software uh, is not uh, meeting the requirement we for example if user is saving the some record and our software is not saving record it is giving exception then we can say that that a uh, it has bug so bug has huge financial can have huge financial and human loss of lives and it can and it can impact the negative reputation negatively reputation can spread so there are many examples in the history for example Aryan 5 rocket a european space agency in 1996 developed the Aryan uh, 5 rocket and after the launch within one minute it crashed due to uh, error in onboard computer system onboard guiding computer system so if within one minute you can see the imagine of one billion loss and so that was one aspect there was effort involved and so this uh, in this case there were no casualties but there are examples in history that due to software bugs casualties has happened in, in if you take another example in communication AT and T uh, communication system it has error and it has got huge financial loss so there are many examples mm. now let's discuss about why these are happening <clears throat> so first of all let's discuss about categories of software uh, defects there are uh, many categories and software defects due to which these appears uh, error of emission, error of commissions, errors in clarity and ambiguity, errors in speed and capacity. So let's discuss one by one in detail. Error of commission mean errors that appear that that has been in the code. I mean if code is producing wrong result, that is error of commission. So another one is error of omission error of omission mean well, we have missed some things for example um, it may be that requirements were, were missed and there were missed something uh, brackets were not put in, in in our code these are example of error of uh, omissions so there are other errors in clarity or ambiguity you can see our a uh, language is ambiguous and uh, one state can, statement can be interpreted in many ways so our natural languages are lackable language, languages for example english and other languages are ambiguous in in their nature so uh, requirements are written in natural languages so that can cause the errors in our software and other one is error in speed and uh, capacity if software uh, is uh, not performing well in terms of its speed and that performance is degraded over the time that is the problem so these were all about categories now let's discuss about software default origins where they originate software defects uh, they are errors in the requirements so there can be error in the requirements, error in the design, error in the source code, error in the user documentations, error due to bad fixes, 
errors in data and tables and error in test cases so uh, as i told you uh, there are many many paths in this errors can be introduced on, into our software there can be errors in the software if the software uh, if the software requirements are not very well documented they are not very well understood by the our requirement engineers then error will introduce into our first phase which is requirement errors then these will go into our design errors then then coding error will introduce so in this way error will lead and at the end we will have buggy software so errors in the software suppose let's take a hypothetical example where there are no errors if for example they, if there are no errors in the requirements then our uh, then our design will there will be having no errors and our code will be of high quality so this is hypothetical example in real life this this not happens because you know the software uh, are developed by humans and software has bugs except the uh, assignment like, like applications if application is huge and uh, there is possibility it will be having errors so in the fourth we have defects discovery so defects which introduce into our software we have many methods we can discover first of all these defects are dif discovered by internally our quality assurance and developers and then other in second discuss discovered by our clients and customer discuss defects discovered by our clients and customer are embarrassing for the development team so def defect there are many rules for uh, th there are two rules for defect discovery rule one is defect discovered by in disco defect discovery is directly related to number of users this means defects which are if a software product is used by customer many customer then they will find the many defects in application and uh, rule two is defect discovery in university related to the number of defects this means if our software is not working properly then no one will be able to find the defects so defect discovery university related to number of defects there are many uh, uh, techniques for eliminating the defect there are especially two two defect prevention and defect detection these are widely used uh, these are widely used these are used in best in class software companies first one is defect prevention and second one is decide in defect detection these are software defect elimination strategies other one as other ones are accurate defect prediction before the project begins and accurate defect tracking during the development Use for quality measurements and ensuring high level of user satisfaction. So, <clears throat> these are the defects prevention techniques. In defect uh, detections, in, in, in defect detections, we have testing and and uh, and reviews. The reviews are farmer and informer reviews in testing we mm, I, we actually find the defect by while executing the product whereas in uh, reviews these are whether formal or informal we we review this our static documents which can be requirement documents co coding coding documents these are reviewed by human inspectors and they find the direct they find the defects directly so this this one these are defect detection techniques and in the next lecture we will discuss about the defect prevention techniques so how we can prevent the defect going into our uh, software development life cycle phases 
so in best of the class software companies both techniques are used software defect prevention techniques and software defect detection techniques so now let's discuss about other uh, one which is about uh, table which you can show uh, which is shown in your slide is requirement inspection and prototypes testing and correctness proof you can see the prototypes are mm, a requirement in, in reviews inspection requirement defects can be uh, detected fairly and in in design defects can be excellent while reviews this mean during inspection design defects can be uh, find out excellently they are best so reviews and inspection are best for coding defects whereas testing is best for performance defect because we are actually uh, observing and executing the uh, executing the our code so testing is best for performing defects whereas uh, reviews and inspection are excellent for design defects and code defects so other one is prototype Pro prototypes are good for requirement defects and as prototypes are developed before before the code is written so and we can understand the requirements better and regarding design defect it is fair and code defects are fair and and performance defects in terms of prototypes are good whereas testing in government testing requirement defects are poor because in testing we need a, a real product so we can execute it and so design defects are poor we poorly can find the design defects uh, interesting so core defects are good because we are executing and we can find the defects while testing and documents defects are fair while in correctness proof uh, requirement defects are poor design defects are poor and core defects are good and so in correctness proof documents defects are fair and performance defects are poor so so that was all for today's session thank you very much bye